in this class we are going to discuss a problem on dynamic and bunge algorithm dynamic programming method consider two sequences aca gtag and act gcg the gap penalty value for these two sequences is minus 1 match bonus value is plus 1 and mismatch if there is a matching the score value is 0 now let us see how the needleman wunsch algorithm can be used to solve the matching values the dynamic programming algorithm computes optimal sequence alignments by filling in the tape in a table of partial sequence alignment score until the score for the entire sequence alignment has been calculated at the outset of the algorithm the first row and column of the table are initialized with multiples of gap penalty as shown here at the outset of the algorithm the first row and column of the table are initialized with multiples of gap penalty as shown here for our convenience repeating the values once again gap value is minus 1 matching bonus value is plus 1 and mismatch value is 0 now we have to fill the cells in the table that is fij value has to be filled three possibilities are first possibility we take the value from the diagonal element above to the left and add the match bonus or mismatch penalty for the two nucleotides along the axis that is f of i minus 1 j minus 1 is the diagonal element above to the left plus s of x i y i that is we are adding either the match score or the mismatch score second possibility is we can take value from the left that is f of i minus 1 comma j and then we add the gap penalty that is minus 1 third possibility is we can take the value from above that is f of i comma j minus 1 and then add the gap penalty then we have to take the maximum of these three values and we have to fill the cell Now let us try to fill the first row and second column first column and first row we have initialized with multiples of gap values now we have to fill the position 2 2 first we fill from the diagonal position we check the value so f of i minus 1 j minus 1 value is 0 and we add that value and we add that value with s of x i y i that is the match score or mismatch score here the axis the scores are a and a values so it is matching so we add 1 second possibility is taken from the left cell the value minus 1 is taken and we add the gap value that is minus 1 then third possibility is taken from the top cell the minus 1 plus gap value minus 
out of this we have to take the maximum of these three values the highest value is plus 1 that is taken from the diagonal position so thus we fill the first second position row and second position column now let us fill the third column of second row first consider the diagonal element minus 1 plus whether it is matching or not c and a is not matching so value 0 then we take from the left plus 1 plus gap value minus 1 from top minus 2 plus gap value minus 1 so the highest value is 0 which is taken from the left side when we fill the cell we mark highlight the arrow mark so that we can understand from which direction we choose this highest value again we fill the next cell from the diagonal position minus 2 then there is mismatch so 0 from left side 0 plus gap value minus 1 from top minus 3 plus gap value minus 1 so highest value is minus 1 which is taken from the left cell then again taking the next value from diagonal minus 3 plus we take the match value or mismatch value it is mismatching so 0 similarly we take from the left and top cells then the highest value is minus 2 then last column of the second row diagonal minus 4 plus g and a is mismatch so 0 similarly taking from top and left position and we are adding the minus 1 gap value the highest value minus 3 now we take the third row second column again similarly we take the diagonal element minus 1 plus whether it is matching a or c matching it is not matching so 0 then taking from the left side and top side we add the gap value then we take the highest value 0 which is taken from the top side so we mark it with an arrow then next cell we fill plus 1 from the diagonal plus it is matching c and c is matching so 1 plus 1 2 for left and top value plus gap value minus 1 is taken so diagonal value is chosen which is the highest value then next cell diagonally 0 plus t and c is not matching so 0 plus 0 top and left position values are taken then the highest value is from left plus 1 is taken and arrow mark is given next cell is taken c and c is the value so there is a match so minus 1 diagonal plus match value 1 is taken we fill the values from the left and top cells now the highest value is taken from the left side which we have indicated also we have taken the value from the diagonal so both have indicated with high, highlighted with arrow mark now last column similarly we can fill all the cells positions in this table as per the needleman's own algorithm
so this is the last cell after filling the last cell now once the table has been completed the value in the lower right represents the score for the optimal gapped alignment between the two sequences to reconstruct the alignment from the scores table we need to find a path from the lower rightmost entry in the table to the upper leftmost position to form this path we can move from our current position in the table to any other position that could legally have produced the score in our current position we continue this process until all possible paths are completed back to the position 1 1 these paths now represent all the optimal alignments between the two sequences to convert a path to an alignment uh, we first write both sequences we consider the diagonal or vertical or horizontal arrow marks for the alignment determination we reconstruct the alignment backwards from right to left in the sequence they mentioned earlier the last row and last column of this table the value is 2 so the alignment score the max best alignment score for this two sequence is 2 now we are going to write the alignments with alignment score 2 for the two sequence s1 and s2 the first arrow is diagonal so we align the last two nucleotides g g next arrow is also diagonal so we align the next position as c a now again the third arrow is also diagonal so we align the next position as t t the next arrow is vertical so we place a gap in the top sequence aligned with the next nucleotide from the left sequence so the alignment score the aligned nucleotide is gap and g again next arrow is also vertical so we place a gap on the tips top sequence and align the value a for the second sequence now again moving to the next position next arrow is diagonal so we align the two nucleotides c and c from both axes now consider last arrow mark which is also diagonal so we choose the last two nucleotide a and a now we have aligned both sequences s1 and s2 the aligned sequence s1 becomes a c gap gap t c g aligned sequence 2 for this align sequence s1 is a c a g t a g from this table we know the alignment maximum alignment score is 2 we are going to compute the sequence alignment for this two sequence as we have done earlier we know gap value is minus 1 matching point value is plus 1 and mismatch score is 0 so for g and g there is a matching so plus 1 c and a there is mismatch value 0 t and t there is a match plus 1 g gap so minus 1 a gap minus 1 c c 1 a a 1 now the score can be calculated by adding the alignment score can be calculated by adding all these values together which is equal to 2 so the computational value 
is 2 for this 2 aligned sequence as we have obtained from the table. 